BTS coming in hot right there. Welcome back to Access Daily. That was the music video for the song Butter by the popular K-pop uh, band BTS. They are just one example of how Korean pop culture has become a worldwide phenomenon. Well, joining us now all the way from South Korea, lifestyle expert, our friend Lindsay Myers. Hey, Lindsay. Lindsay, how's this thinking? Your, your passport oh must gosh. be wild with the stamps. Hey, I had to get extra faces. <laughs> Where are you? Okay, so I'm in the center of everything. We're celebrating K everything. I am in Seoul, South Korea, and it is the coolest place I think I've been yet. Wow. Well, from beauty to music to entertainment, Korean culture having a major moment. Mm -hmm. You say there's a name for this phenomenon. Oh, there is. It's called the Korean wave, and we are all on it. Worldwide, we have K-food, we have K-beauty, K-fashion, K-art, of course, K-pop, which we all love, and the K-dramas, movies, TV. Who is excited about Squid Games too? Yes. Yes. Right? Exactly. And you sent over some treats here. What, what do we got? Always send you something delicious. Be careful with this one. So this is a very traditional drink here. It's called soju. It's delicious. It's but... rice wine. Careful. Don't let the word fool you. It's about 40% alcohol. So Ooh. take little sips. He just chugged it. You always... You just chugged it's it. Like they cooling. say never what have your drink empty, <laughs> but don't ever pour for yourself. So have a friend always pour and fill your glass up. Do you like it? There's yeah. flavors. It's really nice. It's smooth. It's always supposed to complement the food, which is very spicy here. So it's very Ooh. clean, um, delicious, but it will sneak up on you. But oh, I like when you drink it, you say cheers, which is gumbe in Korean. You say it means bottoms up. Gumbe. Look at Lindsay getting after okay. it right there. Oh, look at you. All right, what about these cookies, Lindsay? The Squid Game yes, cookie. Yes, so, so that is exactly. Most people recognize this, of course, from Squid okay. Games. Okay. It's okay. called Algana. Okay. It, it started as a street food in the 1960s. We're talking about this was a child oh, game. Oh. So obviously what you're supposed to do, which we all now know from the TV show, it's had a huge popularity now because of Squid Games. You have to try to get the, the shape that you have in your cookie Try to break it out without breaking the oh, shape. No, I'm, it's I'm, actually I'm, really I'm done, difficult. Done, done, uh, I mean, boy, is that good. in Squid Games, you cannot be surviving. What does it taste like? Oh, it's so it's good. delicious. Mexican candy like this, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a burnt marshmallow. A burnt tastes marshmallow. tastes like a burnt marshmallow. It's the greatest thing I've ever had. What's the best thing you've had over there? Because I'm a fan of the Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue is absolutely my favorite. I love also just what you do behind it, right? You sit all together, you cook your own food. But the cool thing about it is there's diverse food here. We're there talking about there's over 20,000 side dishes. There's over 200 different types of kimchi. Mm. You know, food, they say, is medicine for them. It's part of their identity, their history. You know, they really embrace the tradition behind it. You know, kimchi is even protected by UNESCO because it's so special. Wow. I got to take a class at, at Ellie's Kitchen here. She's a food stylist for all the movies and TV here in Korea. She taught me all about, it's about presentation as well as the taste, of course. But it's colorful, vibrant, delicious. Mm -hmm. I can't get over this cookie. I'm sorry, that's the best thing you, I've ever you had. You know what? You, you look very pretty. That's a good look on you. I like the hair and the in the outfit. So, and you, you seem to be glowing. Is that a is that a K beauty thing? I have been taking notes. I think we all have. That's it's like a global phenomenon. The K beauty. I feel like every single person knows about this because of the ingredients. It's so special. So they have all natural clean ingredients that they use. Everything is from Korea here. Some things you only can get here. You know, and so I, the key ingredient that I've learned is the anti-aging ginseng, natural from here. They take it in supplements. They cook it in their chicken soup, ah. but it's in most of their beauty products, which helps aging, lifting, natural. I even got K-pop makeup done which as you can see, they taught me lots of tricks. It's basically about the glassy skin. They love that kind of porcelain, yeah. very firm look. Mm -hmm. Keep it mineral, pop up those lips. I mean, I'm a K-pop star, right? Look Lindsay, bring me some of that back right there. Yeah. Uh, what about the traditional dress? I love the K-pop fashion. The modern is like super cool, a little edgy, but what they do, they also still really embrace the tradition of the fashion that they've had forever. So this is the hanbok, which means Korean clothing. It goes back to 57 BC. They used to wear this every single wow. day, wow. but it's all about your colors have meetings. It's all about the five elements of the yin and the yang. It's beautiful, the layers. You really have to you know, appreciate the tradition that they still embrace.
And you had a moment at the laundromat <laughs> from the BTS permission <laughs> to dance video, huh? Yeah. Oh, I did. That K-pop. Oh, my goodness. I had so much fun. So there's actually a museum here. It's a cultural museum, interactive, where you two can come here. It's the Hiker Ground, and you can create your own K-pop music video. They even have experts on there to help you, as you can see here, very patiently help me with some moves <laughs> to figure out. But BTS, I mean, Gangnam Style, remember that? That really put K-pop on the map. The BTS has taken the next level. People are coming from all over the world to come to South Korea because of their love of K-pop. Yeah. So I got to learn the flower dance, which is from Jisoo, who is in Blackpink, which is a huge K-pop yeah. band here. And I think you guys, you have some. I think you're going to show there? Hoover, huh? Mario, you're put gonna him show on Hoover your, the you want, dance. For once, I'm going to do the dance. Hey, okay. Hoover! Oh, I love it. Let's I see it. it. Kill it. Okay. You better bring it. Super simple. It's really fun. The song is called Flower. <laughs> so obviously, we have a flower. You put it on your hands, kind of like around there and inside, like this. You're going to close your fist. Oh, yeah. Okay? Take no And you're going to kind of hold, you're hold it like this, like gotcha. a shell almost. Okay? And so when the beat when the beat of the song starts with the chorus, you go pop it out, so you can see both flowers, and you're gonna rock like this, kind of tick tock it like a clock, rock it, and then you're gonna rock back the other way. Oh, I'm a natural. And it has wow. a fun beat. Killed it! You and killed you it, Hoover. Your, you your, you well, that was worth the wait, Hoover. <laughs> and then you can go up like this. Oh, you're talking Vogue now. Oh, there's more choreography. And then we we just end it with a cute little pose. There you go. There go. Mario. That was Mario. it. Oh, that was There's beautiful. There's hope for me yet, yeah, Mario. Listen, for more great travel trips, you can visit Lindsay's website, Get Lost with Lindsay. Great job, Get Lindsay. Get lost, Lindsay.